Hi and welcome to my latest vlog on healthy morning habits. I thought I would record this because it has been requested. I often get asked about how I stay positive and what sorts of things I do as part of my routine. I do feel that I need to stay organized because I'm someone who likes to be productive and likes to get things done and being a parent is hard work enough. So I found in the last, I would say, year or so, my life has got a little bit busier and that's just because I've been taking on more projects and doing more new things and that's all good but it means that I've had to adjust the way I deal with things and start thinking a little bit more about how I can be much more efficient than I have been. I do feel that there are times where we can help ourselves and sometimes starting the day right is a good way to go forward. Something I do quite regularly, daily, is to read positive affirmations. I've talked about this before. I really believe that by reading positive statements in the morning or thinking positive thoughts will change your day or will direct you into a good frame of mind that you'll be able to go and get the stuff done that you need to get done. Reading isn't something that I think a lot of people may want to do first thing in the morning. So if you just read short statements or positive words, you may not realize, but by reading positive words, they are going in to your mind and you will remember them. So try and just think of something that is very good in your life and work on those sorts of aspects. Anything that is going to motivate you, any sort of mantras, anything that will inspire you to just focus for that moment and hopefully put you in a good mood so that you can focus on the rest of your day. Right, so the first thing I do in the morning when I wake up is have a glass of water. Sometimes I have it with some lemon in there, sometimes without. It's just something that will hydrate the body, kickstart the metabolism, and hopefully then, you know, you're gonna have less headaches and that sort of thing. So I find that staying hydrated is important throughout the day, but if you start with a glass of water in the morning, then that's a good start. Secondly, we're gonna talk about sleep because sleep is essential and we're all different. We all have our own body clock. Some people need more sleep than others. I find that it's trying to get to sleep at the same time each night, which can be tricky. And again, if you're a parent, it, this might be quite difficult. I try and get to bed for about 9.30 or 10 p.m. each night, and then I wake up at 5 a.m. And I've started to wake up earlier because I find that that's my power hour. And there's a lot of us that do it. We'll wake up early, I would say, 5 a.m. is early but it's that one hour when everyone is possibly still asleep where you're going to be in a position to really plan out your day. If you can wake up 30 minutes earlier than your usual time, great, use that half hour to do something for you. You know, it is your time where it's quiet, you may just want to read, you may just want to do a workout possibly, you know, and that, that might sound crazy, but you might wanna be able to just get up and move. Another tip I find is very useful is to actually make your bed in the morning. Make sure that you make your bed, tidy the room. That's a good feeling in itself. And open the windows. Now, if you live in the UK, it can be a bit tricky as the weather isn't always that nice. However, even if you open your window just a little bit, it's just letting some air into the room. And I just find that if you've got an organized space around you, you're much more likely to want to get work done. I can't work in a cluttered environment, that's me. That's something that I find very difficult. So I need to make sure that things are in place. My next tip is to make sure that you eat breakfast and nourish your body before you start whatever it is that you want to start. Breakfast may not seem very important to some people, but I do feel as though if you want to be effective, you need energy and certainly having fuel in your body is key to that. Right, so when it comes to tasks and lists, if you're a list person like I am, then I personally write down my top three tasks that are absolutely must do for that day. And I usually kind of list six things, but I will probably get three of those done. I used to avoid doing the toughest task and just push it away, but I've started to kind of work on making sure that the most difficult task 
is crossed off at the beginning. It might be a difficult call that you need to make, something that you need to fill out, a form that's just boring you and you just don't want to do it. If you spend your time in the morning getting that task out of the way, you're more likely to get on and enjoy the rest of the task because sometimes that one task can be bearing down upon you and it can slow you down. So say goodbye to that one big task, you'll feel much better for it. Next up, movement. I have been going to the gym and I might not go regularly, but it is definitely something that has helped my mindset and I am somebody who's very keen on working on having a positive mindset. There are days like everyone where I have some kind of situation which will throw everything up in the air and I'm not sure how to deal with things which can affect obviously mood but I'm somebody who's quite positive at heart and I try not to let things get to me and I think that um, a lot of us just sometimes worry too much about things that aren't going to happen. So um, where am I going with this? I'm going with this in the sense that movement and just moving around the house, if you don't go to the gym, if you don't play a sport, um, you know, you don't like running, <laughs> go for a walk or just get out of the house, go and stand in the garden for five minutes, listen to the birds, look around you, just take some time. So, so many of us are so busy these days that we forget that movement is critical. I do a lot of housework, we don't have a cleaner here, so I'm someone who is constantly moving and that's important to me and it might not seem like that's exercise, but I consider it to be exercise, trust me, you know, we have a lot of washing actually, three people living in this house, I don't know how that happens. Try and get things ready the night before if you can, you know, lay out your clothes on the bed, um, have your bag ready in the hallway if you go to work, make sure that you have little reminder notes, that kind of thing if you're heading out. I rely very much on lists. I also rely very much on my phone, using the voice memo on my phone to record things if I think of them while I'm out and about. No one is perfect. <laughs> we might seem quite organized on the surface, but I think a lot of us do have this internal panic sometimes that they're not getting things done. And there will be days where things won't go to plan as we know. So this video is just literally to try and encourage you to um, take little steps and implement them into your daily routine. You don't have to do everything at once, but I find that if you just make little changes, and I really do vouch for waking up an hour early, that has been really important to me and it's made such a difference in my life. I think that it can make a difference in yours. And that's that, so if you do like this video, I would love to hear from you. Please do like and comment. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe so that you don't miss out on any more content. I would really like you to come back. And in the meantime, I hope you are all being productive. I wish you lots of luck in making little changes to help manage your day better. See you next time.